Hold on for a second. You don't want to miss this conversation. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, how are you? I'm very well. How does it go? How is self-isolation treating you? Absolutely amazing. I've been making the most of it. I'm trying my best to just take care of myself. Things that I haven't done in the last couple of years. I've just been indulging myself in painting and trying to learn to play the piano. So there are lots of things that are happening. Uh, I wish it didn't have to happen this way, but yeah. you have to make the most of the situation, I guess. And piano, yes, you said uh, Pulkit plays the guitar, piano, so there's a jam session happening. We are, no, no, the aim is to have a jam session. <laughs> so I'm trying to learn the piano, so is he in his own way. Uh, he already plays it a little bit, but I think he wants to get good at it now. So that's a good thing. I think we're both indulging in things that we didn't really have time for before. And to be able to do it together, I think it's just the cherry on top. And you know, you lead such busy lives. 2019 was jam-packed for you. We're literally living out of a suitcase. Now suddenly the yeah. social distancing and self-isolation, <laughs> how has it like, how are you dealing with it? You know, honestly, I love being home. I have never had an issue being in my house. I actually enjoy being at home. I was the kind of student who would bunk college to go back home and not to go out with her friends. I was always that person. Uh, being in the film industry, it's made me a little bit more extrovert than I used to be. But otherwise, primarily, I'm quite the introvert and a lot of people don't believe that about me. But uh, I am more than okay with being isolated for so long. I've been in isolation for over three weeks now, three and a half weeks now, yeah. because I was traveling and then... I just didn't want to take any chances. So I made sure that I was in isolation for a good uh, 12 days before Modi ji actually announced the curfew. Okay. So I was already in quarantine at that point. So from so, house full to house arrest? From house full to house arrest. Absolutely. But uh, I'm just glad that, you know, I, I chose to be smart about it and maybe... You know, if I hadn't taken care of myself in that time, I would have fallen sick because I am extremely prone to colds and coughs. So oh, I was yeah. really paranoid. But uh, I'm just glad that we took this time. And I'm so glad that the, the, the country made this decision that they are going to isolate themselves, not just to prevent themselves from getting sick, but I think also because... Uh, it's the need of the hour and people are trying to be smart about it. Most of us are trying to be smart about it. And you know, the thing is the industry, they say, you know, the show must go on. Anything has ever happened. The film industry has never shut down. You know, you've always yeah. had films. I think this yeah. is the first time ever that everything has come to a standstill the world over. Yeah. So for an yeah. actor, what is this isolation like? Because you're always surrounded by people all the time. Yeah. yeah. We're used to that hustle bustle around us because, you know, when you're shooting, you're shooting with a good 100, 150 member crew. So you're constantly surrounded by people. Your room is a van, which is probably not even as big as your own bedroom. And even there you have your staff, you have your people, you have your friends come over. And it's just that you're so used to being and Bombay, you know, is that kind of a place where everyone is literally into everyone's face in a good way. Yeah. But we have that kind of population and we have that kind of thing in the industry where everybody talks to everybody. So no one ever feels lonely. But suddenly to not have all that around you, it's actually very disorienting. I have really started to miss work. Uh, I have started reading my scripts again, the ones that I was already reading. I've reread all my scripts. I've done all of that uh, just to feel like, you know, just to get in there, I'm watching films that, you know, I haven't watched before. And Pulkit's introduced me to this whole new world of cinema, which is very different for me, like cinema that he's grown up watching. We watched very different cinema when as we grew up. So, yeah, but it, it's nice that everyone is keeping each other company through social media. True. I really don't know how else it would have worked in today's day and age. Very true. And now your fans are saying, why aren't you interacting with us? Lots of hearts. Oh, I'm sorry. Lots of hearts. And somebody's asked, what sorry. are your upcoming projects? I know there is Tesh coming up. So please tell us a yes. bit about it. 
Uh, Tesh is a uh, Bijoy Nambia directorial. Uh, he was definitely one of the directors. Is one of the directors who is on my list. Uh, and someone I was looking forward to working with. Uh, in fact, Tesh. No, a lot of people don't know this, but I was offered another part uh, in Tesh, and I didn't have dates at that point, and I was really, really bummed. Uh, okay. And the film okay. got pushed a little bit, so Bijoy came back to me with an even better character because he had time to rewrite because the film had been pushed because all actors' dates were not matching. So he said, "I have a fantastic role for you. Do you have time now?" And it so happened that the Pagal Twenty schedule got pushed okay. by a month, okay. month and a half because John had injured himself. Mm -hmm. So I had that one month after having worked for a year and a half without a break. I was supposed to take that month to rejuvenate, and instead I was like, "Okay, you know what? This has come to me, and I want to do a film with Vijay, and it's a fantastic part. So might as well do it." And it it just happened literally overnight, and within two weeks, I was shooting with Bijoy. Awesome! And you yeah, got to meet him. Yeah, it's a really, really entertaining movie. And yes, I'm him. opposite Jim. Yeah, and he's been mm -hmm. a different Sorry? actor, not like the bad guy that he's always seen as. You know, it's it's so weird. Uh, he is definitely. I didn't think that someone like Jim would be playing this character. Mm -hmm. because you know jim i had thought of him as the bad guy because we've seen him in that avatar having said that the justice he's done to this is unreal he's that he's such a lovely person he's such a lovely actor it's fun to work around him i think i i i would love to say that you know jim has performed really really well in this and it's been a pleasure working with him and sharing screen space with pulkit what is it like is it easier in real or is it you know this is real and real sometimes couples real life chemistry does not translate very well on real so what is it like for the two of you very honestly uh, i don't know about his approach to the whole thing because this is something we don't discuss yeah. uh, we don't discuss our personal lives when we are at work we don't discuss our professional lives when we are at home it's as Perfect. simple as that we need to keep keep our worlds really really separate for us to survive together and for us to be happy in our own space yes. uh, you know life becomes too interdependent otherwise so the point was to basically uh, not jeopardize our professional lives and not jeopardize our personal lives uh, having said that i love working with him as much as i love working with every other actor when the set is a fun set you know it's it's not because he is there that yeah. i will enjoy an experience i could in, an experience is an overall thing you take a lot of things into perspective before you decide your experience on a movie one person mm -hmm. can't make or break that i enjoy working with him and i think he's a fantastic actor he's a great co-star and he's one of the most caring people you'll ever find on a set so yeah he is definitely someone i look forward to working with but uh, it's not like you know he makes or breaks it for me it's as simple as that And somebody just asked about Googly too. Oh, I really, really wish that happens. Pavan and I were chatting. So Googly was my first big hit in my career. Uh, back in uh, I don't remember the year honestly, but this was back when I was doing my Canada films, and uh, it was my biggest hit and gathered me my biggest fan following. I think there could possibly be. most of my fan clubs even on instagram are most of them are run by uh, my folks back in karnataka so many of these guys so many fan clubs there it gave me the stardom that i think i was hoping to get you know that stardom that you wish you get when you enter an industry that's sure. exactly what google gave me and uh, unreal i mean for me two films that are supremely close to my heart are uh, googly and uh, shaadi mein zarur aana so for me googly was an experience that i don't think i'll ever forget in my life and if i ever get the opportunity to do googly 2 which i know that the director will make only with me <laughs> so i hope that happens and i can't wait to explore uh, that part of my life again so since you have done both the cinemas north and south which one yeah. do you think is easier and more professional and more disciplined uh, in all honesty i have uh, not had bad experiences down south neither have i had them here very very mm -hmm. frankly mm -hmm. a bad experience it takes a lot to label something as a bad experience because every True. set will True. have its ups and downs it does not matter how big or small a film is yeah. so you know 
uh, I've been lucky that in my career, I've had a good set of producers. I worked with reputed directors, and I have a decent kitty of films in my bag, and I'm a respectable actor. So for me, that is something I got very lucky with down south and here. Yeah. And in fact, down south, I have repeatedly worked with same people because they've enjoyed working with me also. Yeah. So I have been very fortunate, and I genuinely see no difficulty except the fact that if you don't understand a character, it could be any language. It's not about the language. If you don't understand a ca character, you can't translate that on screen, and that's not going to make it a good experience for you. So the language is actually no barrier. Which is true, and you know you, you mentioned have Google. unprofessional people everywhere. I agree. And you mentioned yeah. Googly. Everybody here, Googly hearts are happening. I love you, <laughs> Priti. Is happening. My lord, fan followers are so I'm telling you. I mean, I I have immense respect for my fan clubs. Very frankly, you know, people actually call me up and say, "You have such ardent fans. How did that happen?" But I know that happened because of my base in the southern film industry. I know that's where I started. Uh, those were the days when people have accepted me without. you know with or without baggage and uh, that brought me to bollywood so for me uh, that is something i really cherish and my fans from there who've been my fans for 10 years now it's wow. not something that's just happened in the recent past so yeah i started very young i was 18 when my first film came out and a decade wow awesome way to yeah. go yeah and one thing now since we're talking about uh, social distancing and this quarantine you said something that actually resonated with me it was about those people who have been abandoning their pets and you said yeah. i would judge them for what they are so i mean you all have raised your voice what is that one thing you can take back from this quarantine and what is that one message you want to give out as we are still dealing with it one thing that i'm definitely going to take back is you know i look outside and the air is so much clearer i know that i'm feeling healthier i know that my skin is better i know yeah. that my the environment around me is clean one thing i'm definitely going to take back is this the positive side of what happened to us yeah there is a positive to it if you really want to look it this is probably i wouldn't call it the silver lining it would be incorrect because there is suffering at the end of the day but having said that look what we did to our country and look what it is capable of being yeah true they are showing us a different world in their own way and when i say they i mean nature so this is something i definitely want to take back with me and i want to believe that this is possible because now i'm seeing it happen so this is possible and if this is possible now we should be able to make this happen even in the future when things are all right But imagine right. living in a world that is so clear. True, even the animals are at peace. So Birds are singing. Skies are blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I have never seen such gorgeous sunsets. I can see the sea from here. I can hear birds chirping literally, like at five a.m. And it's so beautiful. And they are swirling around in the evening. It's a beautiful sight. I know I sound like someone who is so obsessed now, but. This has been my life for a month. I'm nature watching. I'm bird watching. I'm spending time in the house. So this is all I'm talking about, and my conversations have become so much more positive. Yeah, I think that goes for everybody. And have you seen yeah. we're more empathetic towards each other? We are getting yeah. along. I hope we carry it forth after all. Yeah, I think it was beautiful. You know, a lot of people question. You know, what is lighting Diaz gonna serve us? Yeah. A lot of people yeah. question that. Yeah. My point is, you know what? It is not probably not going to serve the virus. Yeah. The point is, this brings us together. Don't you get goosebumps when you stand out in your balcony and you see, till you know, wherever your eye can meet nature, you see people lighting diyas and candles and standing in unity, and that feeling is something else, like the belonging. You're isolated, but imagine you're still a part of something so big. It's a big movement. It's something the entire country is doing together. Just, just knowing that, and for me, my folks are away. They are in Bangalore. For me, okay. just knowing that they are there doing the same thing that I am, and for once, I don't have to call and say, "Mama, what are you doing?" Right. 
it's a beautiful feeling so i was really excited last night i was very sure that i wanted to do this it felt amazing everybody was lighting diyas there were a few stupid people who went out there and burnt crackers burnt themselves know, there was a building in uh, bandra if i'm not wrong i'm not yeah, sure that's a, uh, yeah that caught fire mahima bandra yeah that caught fire i mean it's you know if you really have to be told that you're just supposed to light diyas and you it is a hazard if you burn crackers i don't know what they were trying to do it's unfortunate it's really really unfortunate but this is very basic what we're doing but i hope people wake up and understand why this is so necessary and try and look at the positives that they're able to spend more time with their families they're able to indulge in things they haven't been able to indulge in in the past because uh, spending time at home when you're a working person is literally taboo because you feel like you know i could have been at work and i could have been doing this 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 we forget what priorities are and suddenly i think when people are enjoying this now they will make time for themselves when even when things get better I hope so they get the idea of living by themselves a little bit, dedicating time to themselves and their families. Which is true. What is the one thing you're going to do once the lockdown is over and we are all free once again? What I want to do, honestly, I just I miss uh, the hustle around me, even in terms of you know you you uh, the. I live near the highway, so it's constantly jammed with cars. So for me, suddenly it's very, very quiet. So I think first thing I'm going to intently listen to is the sound of the train that goes past. <laughs> But uh, apart from that, I just I want to go out and buy my own groceries. Like I don't want to go down in the building and buy whatever is only available. So I want to do all of that. But first thing I definitely want to do is go see my parents uh, in Bangalore. I'm hoping that happens soon. I haven't seen my family in the last three, four months, and now this. So, this is the longest I've stayed away from them, and it's kind of scary. But I know they're healthy and they're wise, so it's okay. They're all connected. I mean, it's a well, thank God yeah. for technology for once. Thank God for technology. Absolutely, really grateful for everything in my life right now. Genuinely, so this is actually mean? quite. We the, we have the leisure of living in our own homes. It's as it's as simple as that. I know little things that one needs to be grateful. They're actually big yeah. things. Many yeah. don't even have that. Yeah. So what is the one skill you have picked up? I mean, other than the piano. <laughs> other than the piano, I think I started. I had lost my touch of cooking. This is something I really really used to enjoy, but I used to always cook only fancy food because I mean you know. Mama would always be like, "Khana mein bana rahi hu." When there's something fancy, you try a new dish. That always used to happen. So I used to cook a lot of fancy food. It's the first time in my life I'm eating pure vegetarian, very home basic food stuff that I've never done before. So for me, honestly, I feel very proud that I'm able to make a turaiki sabzi with normal pulgas, and not just a pasta ali olio or a pesto sauce, something something, nothing fancy. but i like that i'm able to uh, pick up uh, skills like basic cooking and i think uh, i have so much respect for my mom she used to tell me she had two kids no help at home she would clean the house cook do everything by herself and i i hats off to all the mamas and especially like everyone who's done it without cribbing True. it's unreal and even if they crib there's no judgment because honestly they were doing a lot and it's now that i realize so a lot of i don't know if i've picked up a talent but i've definitely picked up perspective this isolation that i'm starting to see things from different perspectives it is true and what would you recommend so what are you watching the kind of cinema so that we all because since it's only netflix amazon that we are connected yeah, to yeah <clears throat> i actually i watched hatim tai a couple of days ago Wow. And yeah, I had him watch Hatim Tai and Pulkit said, you know, that was uh he's like bachpan mein dekhi nahi thi and I was in Bangalore when I was young. So, you know, very little access to Hindi TV and all. Uh so I said, no, I haven't watched it. So he's like, no, you have to see it. You can't not watch Hatim Tai. So he showed me that, he showed me The Lion King. Uh oh, yeah. so that watched it when I was extremely young, but I had no memory of it at all. I knew the story but I had no memory. So he showed me The Old Lion King. uh there's so many lovely cartoons that have come back so i've been watching papaoy papaoy <laughs> the 
I'm not kidding. I sing the song with Popeye, the sailor man. I'm telling you, I've gone back in time and I'm loving it. I've never felt younger and happier. It's weird, but I've never felt this way before. I can and see it on I your face. This, yeah, I, I, I took an afternoon nap. I had the leisure to take an afternoon nap. <laughs> So when I woke up, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> but I'm telling you, I I don't remember the last time I did that to myself. So yeah, I'm trying to find the positive and keep myself happy all day because I have my mood swings. I do. There are days, you know, there are certain evenings uh, that you miss your family a little too much. Your face time and you break down because you don't know when you're going to see them. True. But I try and stay positive because I think mental health at this point is so important. People are not prioritizing their mental health. I see. And uh, it's just so important to not be hooked on to your phone at all times. So I make sure that I'm doing other activities outside my phone because it, we're already pretty driven by technology. Like yeah. you said, we you know it's very hard to survive in this day and age without technology. So true. So you need to be able to disconnect from it. So I agree. Completely disconnect. So that's when the piano comes into play. I love playing board games, which is something I haven't done in so long. So we've been playing a lot of board games. Which is your favorite? Cooking. My favorite is Monopoly Deal. I ah. love playing Monopoly Deal because Monopoly is something I've not played really, but I've learned now. So I don't like. I always lose. So I don't like playing it. Uh, and uh, we've been playing a lot of uh, Battleship. So that oh, okay. took me back to where I don't even remember. So. We've been playing Battleship. Uh, we've been playing this fishing game where you have to pick the fish out of the pond. Uh, oh, so yes. it's a stick game, and I have my Drogo at home, my little husky. So he keeps us entertained all day long. Awesome. So yeah, it's it's a good life. It's a good life. Very grateful for whatever is still there, and hoping to be able to make it through this happy, and uh, hopefully not damage the world. Exactly. Again. Somebody's asked, "What's your favorite color?" My favorite color is white. White. I'm wearing white. Uh, I find it very pure, very bright, very refreshing, very happy. It's definitely my go-to color. And who's more hands down at home? You or Pulkit? Does he help around the house or no? He is like he's extremely helpful. It's I don't even know how to convince someone with that, but very frankly, he's very, very, very helpful. Okay. Uh, he does everything on his own, but that is something because you know both of us individually have lived alone, and we uh, run our homes, and we still do individually. Yeah. So I think it doesn't come down to oh you're responsible for this, you're responsible for this. I think that happens when you actually start living together, but I don't see that happening here at all because whenever we do decide to live together or whatever happens in the future. Yeah. Uh, I know that he's not going to be one of those men who'll take it for granted that oh she's in the house she'll handle it. Yeah, you know I don't need to help. But he's very helpful. He's a fantastic cook. Wow. And he's not lazy. I'm extremely lazy. So who had made that painting of yours? You or him? Full kid. Full kid. Awesome. Kid. He's quite the talented yeah. boy. Yeah. He's very very talented. He paints really well. He sketches really well. So wow. he said, okay, let me try something. We didn't have our colors with us. So he said, "I'll just sketch it on the iPad." So I was like, "Okay." Wow. Very so nice. I didn't even know. He just asked me, "Paints, pade?" And I said, "No, I don't think we have paints." So he said, "Okay." And the next thing he came and showed this to me, and he's like, "You know," he's like, "Okay, all right, this is what you wanted to do." Wow. And I was very, very, very flattered. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Anybody would be a lucky girl, and be happy. <laughs> you, I mean, you are really giving us the good vibes that we need in these times. Thank you so I, much. Thank you, Pooja. Thanks thank so much. You. It was so nice talking to you. Same here, and I hope we meet in person very soon. Very soon, hundred percent. Yeah. Take and I have care. to tell you, I love your page. I genuinely enjoy your page. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. No, really. I mean, I've grown up watching Good Times, and I love it. I mean, wow! I thank you so, so much. So lovely, really. Yeah. Thank you so much. So that's Thanks, why we wanted you on Good Times. We need those good vibes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have a safe, safe and happy quarantine. You too. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.